Hey YouTube, it's Whitney. Um, I just wanted to come on here and do uh, hopefully a quick update about how I'm doing. I'm coming up on two weeks post-op, which is great. I'm really excited. Um, I have my first doctor's appointment with first surgeon's appointment. Um, my first post-op surgeon's appointment on St. Patrick's Day, which is next Wednesday. And that's where... Um, you know, he can clear me to go to the next stage of eating, which um, is one of the things I wanted to talk about. So, everyone who has had the surgery knows and talks about it. The first two weeks, you just start to get really tired of what you're eating. I am so tired of soup. I'm working so hard not to cheat, just so you know where I am. Um, I'm supposed to have liquids for two weeks, mushies, anything I can match with a fork for two weeks, and then I can start trying to do regular foods after that. So right now I'm still obviously in my liquid stage and I'm tired of it. I mean, it's killer. Yesterday my parents made some taco stuff and I wanted it so bad. <laughs> I know I'm being pitiful and whining a little bit, um, but I'm very ready for some cottage cheese and some tuna salad and I mean, I've come up with all sorts of things that I can mash with peas. I'm really excited to eat some peas. Um, I think the frustrating part is that I'm sure, per, like for myself, I know I could get it down. But I don't want to cheat. I know that these two weeks are for healing. I'm supposed to be letting my stomach and my insides all heal. That's the point. But, um, oh, so tired of soup. I did get some soup today from Kroger. I've been looking around for other types of soups. It's about all I could have. Um, something from Kroger. I think it was called spicy black bean soup. And it was in the organic aisle of Kroger and it was really good. It's kind of thin but um, I really liked it. So it was very spicy but it was definitely something different. Something like different that I needed. Um, so let's see. I went on a walk yesterday with my dog. He's an English Bulldog and I was a little hesitant to go on a walk with him because he pulled really bad and I didn't know if I was supposed to be exercising yet or not. I, I need to read my packet. I, I just keep guessing on things, but that I need to read like exercise wise. I'm really, I'm ready to start moving and doing things and letting that help me with my weight loss. I haven't really been focusing too much on my weight the last few days because I know the weight loss was so big in the first week. I'm trying not to get disappointed by anything, but um, I think I'm down a couple more pounds. I don't know. Um, what I'm gonna do is my next video I'll try to make after my doctor's appointment and I'll let that be my official um, two week post-op weight. And so I'm kind of weighing myself every day. I got um, an analog scale, I guess, for my bathroom, which is like, you know, with the one with the dial just so that like daily I could jump on there and just see it. I think the reason I was cool with getting one of those is that I weigh officially every morning on my Wii Fit and it gives me like, you know, to the decimal my weight. Um, but it's really cool to see the uh, analog scale too because it shows like, you know, as the ticker starts moving down, it's, it's kind of exciting to see, you know, especially after you, you know, Hopefully I've lost a lot of weight. It'll be really exciting to get on that type of scale. Um, there was something else. Um, I'm feeling fine. Um, I think all my serious rips from my incisions have come off and I think they're healing really well. Um, at night I put on band-aids with Neosporin and I'm really trying to get my scars to heal very well. And, and seamlessly, if you want to say it like that, I really want them to heal well so that in the far off future, if I ever do want to like bear the midriff, um, specifically in a bathing suit or something, that um, they won't be that noticeable. So I think they're healing well, and that's good. Um, my parents keep saying they see 
see that a little weight loss like in my face and stuff. I don't know. I don't see anything. Um, I think it's going to take a pretty drastic change for me to be able to see the weight loss. But um, good news is my appetite's down right now. I think the head hunger's still there. But as long as I keep myself busy, I've done a really good job not just eating for the sake of eating. Which is definitely one of my issues. Uh, I don't know. I'm really... I'm in a good place. I think I'm trying to stay um, motivated. Um, twice today, I my head told me that I should go get a milkshake or a sweet tea from McDonald's because again, it's right the drive-thru is right beside my work, and I talked myself out of it. I hope that that type of head gain continues. You know, once I get filled and I can eat real food, just to pass up those type of things because before. I think I kind of talked myself into, well, what's this burger going to change, or what's, you know, what's this sweet tea going to change in the whole scheme of things, you know, but anyway, <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I don't have a lot to say. just wanted to check in. Again, thanks to everybody who's watching, and um, I will check back in very soon, hopefully Wednesday after my doctor's appointment, and let you know how that goes. So, all right, talk to you later.